What's up, SBM gang? I'm back with another tutorial, and y'all know it's no shade. Shout out to Eunice Hair for sending me a bust down cherry wood brown wig. This wig is so unique. This color is so just not on the market. Like, you don't see this color wig every day online. So, I love it. Usually, when you think about ginger, you think really, really orange, but you usually don't get this darker shade of ginger. So, I was really shocked to see that Eunice was sitting the bus down. I was like, oh, okay, y'all sitting the good wigs. There's no shade. So, I plucked this wig. I did bleach the knots because there were a few little black dots on it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going in with my skin protectant. Y'all know y'all have to use skin protectant before y'all apply this glue to y'all skin. I done told y'all video after video. Don't just put no glue on y'all skin and don't protect y'all skin. The skin protectant works as a deodorant. It helps make sure your skin doesn't rash and turn red, discoloration. It just helps. So make sure you're using your skin protectant. It's non-negotiable and it's no shade. I went in with my lemon adhesive from Bold Hold. And I did about four layers because I didn't use any tape. So I was like, okay, let me make sure I use enough layers of glue. Because we got to dance. We got to do this routine. And I need this wig to be on. And it's no shade. So once you get all your clear layers, just apply that wig and we go from there. I didn't put any lace tint or makeup on this lace. This was a transparent lace. I just went in and applied it and it blended pretty well. It gave HD vibes, but it was a transparent lace. And y'all know transparent lace is my favorite when it comes to wigs lasting. But when you're doing like photo shoots, video shoots, HD is the preferred look. But for the everyday girl doing everyday stuff, go get you a transparent wig. It lasts longer, they're more durable, and it's really no shade. I love the way this, this wig looked after I plucked it. Like, it really had a realistic hairline. The knots were not too thick. So, I was really able to play with it and create, you know, the aesthetic I was going for with my tweezers. Like, I really did not struggle plucking this wig at all. And that is a key note when looking for wigs. No shade. I'm tying it down with paper because I want my glue to dry and I don't want it to be smooth smudged or smeared so I'm going in with paper I like to do that first you know when my lace is still cooking my glue is still drying I don't like to go in with the the velcro strip or the the melt belt immediately no let your lace be officially on the scalp before you start using all that other stuff I like to go in with paper first no shade Once I'm done cutting all that extra lace off, I'm going in and I'm pulling out my baby hairs. Y'all know my go-to baby hair set is my two corners and my two side burns. I really don't like to do the most, but it depends on the client. Some clients, they like their two corner baby hairs, their side burns, and a middle baby hair. And another baby hair in between the corner and the side burn. So it just depends on your client, but most of my clients, they let me do me with baby hairs. They don't have a preferred look. So I'm able to, you know, do whatever I feel in the moment or whatever I think looks good with that hairstyle. And a middle part bust down, you can never go wrong with two corners and two side burn baby hairs. It's really no shade. I like to go in, cut them with the eyebrow razors or my shears, same thing. And I curl them and I use my mousse this go around because I really wanted them to lay exactly how I needed it to. When you use hairspray to lay your baby hairs, you kind of got to work with what you get in those first couple seconds. Because once that hairspray starts to dry, you can't really manipulate the baby hair as much as you could with mousse. So that's why I use mousse this go around because, you know, when you're doing color, you need it to be a bust down. And everything needs to be perfect. 
how come hot comb hot comb so how come won't comb you girl y'all better use that hot comb and y'all better stop walking around hunky so for the curls i went for a loose wave beach wave style you know like when the top be a little bit wavy and then the bottom be straight like i the la girls love to do it and i've been trying to master that curl i'm so used to doing a full complete curl so i'm still trying to master the effortless wavy look but it's a work in progress pray for me i did go in and i added some layers in the front on both sides just so i can have a little definition in the front but other than that i just wrapped the hair around i didn't even wrap the bottom of the hair just the middle of the hair shaft that's what your goal should be but i still think i was curling too far up i don't know maybe my curling iron was too thick i i don't know y'all pray for me I, i'm watching tutorials i'm trying to find my flow with the beach waves but i have to master them because my beach waves be too curly like ugh, pray for me you know this is one of my main steps this for me this is a major key step but make sure y'all being careful when y'all putting this flat iron to y'all clients face some of y'all be burning y'all clients and be trying to just not talk about it stop burning y'all clients y'all don't have to get to the root of a baby hair this is a wig this is not somebody's real hair so you it's okay to just start from the middle and curl the ends and do your thing no shade i went in with my mousse because i wanted a specific look and i know i'm so backwards some of y'all be saying i probably say i love to do hairspray with colored hair but i changed my mind i like to do mousse i just like to do mousse in general these days i haven't really been rocking with the hairspray baby hair and this is pretty much the final look shout out to uni's hair all the information for this week will be in the description box y'all know i love uni's wigs they barely send me wigs so when they sent this wig i was happy because i'm like yes a bust down a bust down all the info will be in the description box make sure y'all go follow my model shaquita she's a baddie and she kills her makeup y'all go show her some love her information will be in the description box as well shout out to my SBM gang we're growing and we're glowing and it's really no shade bye y'all